What is up guys, my name is Ebenezer Frempong and welcome back to my channel. Now, before I get started today, I want to share a couple of milestones with you. So tonight, I'm going to hit 1,000 Instagram followers, which is so crazy to me because less than 30 days ago, I only had 73 Instagram followers. That's thanks to you guys. I'm growing so fast because of you guys and with the help of Instazude, um, it's an Instagram growth tool that I use. I have the link for it down in the description i'm most likely going to hit roughly 5 to 10k by the end of the year which is insane to me also i'm going to hit 300 subscribers by morning less than 30 days ago i only had i'd say 70 subscribers so again huge shout out to you guys and thank you so much for the support love it i really really love it and i really appreciate it as well now today's video is about something that other YouTube entrepreneurs are also teaching, and, and that's retargeting campaigns. But most of them, well, actually all of them, are teaching how to set up retargeting campaigns on Facebook. Well, I have some great news for you guys. You can also set up retargeting campaigns on Google. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> One thing I want to point out is that what I'm about to teach you is called two different things. On Facebook, it's called retargeting. On Google, it's called remarketing. But they're essentially the exact same thing. And for this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you guys how to set up a dynamic remarketing campaign. So what does dynamic mean? Dynamic just means personalized. Let's say you're shopping online and you go to JCPenney and you look at a pair of socks. When you leave JCPenney's website and don't buy those socks, let's say you're reading a blog later that day or the next day, you're going to see an ad for those exact socks that you are looking for. That's what a dynamic campaign is. It's personalized. Now, why do you want to set up a retargeting campaign? Why are they so important? What's the point of them? A retargeting campaign is a way for you to interact with your previous website visitors. So let's say someone came to your online shop store and they didn't buy your product well now you can retarget them with a new ad and offer them coupons and discounts for them to return and finally make that purchase and let's say someone did buy when they visited your store well now you can go ahead and sell them other products using retargeting ads you can sell them similar products with retargeting ads and they're more likely to convert because they already trust you they're already familiar with your brand your store and retargeting campaigns have really high rois um, it's a very important strategy to have in your marketing arsenal now what is the difference between facebook retargeting and google with facebook's retargeting you only have two placement options facebook and Instagram so your ad can only appear in these two places that is it with Google you have over 12.2 million placements you can literally just follow your customer online you could just follow them everywhere online so how does this work well we use Google's display network so websites or apps and everything that uses Google Adsense is a placement option for you um, so that includes websites YouTube videos YouTube channels and apps so that customer that potential customer can be playing a game on their phone they can see your ad um, they can be watching their favorite youtuber they can see an ad right below it a retargeting ad right below it that's why I think retargeting on Google is also very important in conjunction with Facebook retargeting. You should be doing both. Now, what do you need to run a retargeting campaign on Google? You need your conversion tag installed. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video on how to do this, at the top right hand corner, you could click that and watch that video on how to set that up. You also need an approved Google Merchant Center feed because this is going to be a dynamic campaign is going to be personalized so we need a feed with our products in it you also need your Google accounts to be linked so your merchant center account to be linked to AdWords AdWords analytics you need all those things linked together for this to work very smoothly so right now I'm actually gonna hop into the Google AdWords account for the demo store that I created in one of my earlier videos and we're gonna set up a campaign all right, so we're in the demo address account that I created in one of my earlier videos for the demo Shopify store that I created. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating a Google retargeting campaign is you need to create an audience to retarget to. And how do we do that? You want to click this little wrench button up here, go to audience manager, click this little blue button right here and go to website visitors. 
for this example, I'm actually going to create three different audiences. All three audiences are going to be completely empty because I'm not driving traffic to the demo store. So for this audience right here, we're going to start with visitors of the page. Make sure this is selected. Now, when someone visits your Shopify store and successfully goes through your checkout process and buys, the last page that they see is going to be the thank you page. So we want everyone in this audience to have hit that thank you page. So how do we do that? We make sure that the visited page that customer visited matches this rule here. So the rule will be URL contains thank you underscore you. Does that make sense? Only buyers, only people who successfully reached checkout and bought something are going to see that thank you page. So and that URL for that thank you page includes this thank you underscore you. So boom, past buyers audience. We want to include people from the past 30 days who bought and we want to keep them in here for 90 days. We want to keep them in this audience for 90 days. So after 90 days, Google will take them out of your remarketing list. They're no longer eligible to be in this list. You can no longer retarget them. And with the audience description section, it's actually something that I don't typically use unless I'm creating a very complex audience. So past buyers, only past buyers will visit the URL that contains thank underscore you so create audience and it's gonna it's gonna take a while to populate but this is gonna be zero because I'm not driving traffic to this demo store here the next one we're gonna create is I call them window shoppers a window shopper is someone who just visited a product page and never moved on they didn't look at anything else they just stayed on that product so how do we tell Google that well we're gonna make sure the URL contains products let me show you what I'm talking about. So this LED dog collar here in this demo store. Let's go to view. Look at the URL of this demo store for this product, right? Notice the URL contains this products. Okay, let's go to a different product. The URL for this products. Everything else is different and specific to this one product. By telling Google that we only want to add people in this audience that visited a URL on our website that contains products we're basically telling Google to add the window shoppers but we also want to make sure that they didn't go to checkout or they didn't go to cart so you're gonna go here unvisited page URL contains cart add again URL contains checkout so now this is telling Google okay the person the people who go in this list they had to visit a page that has products in the URL and they couldn't have visited cart or checkout and then 30 days keep them in here for 90 create audience the last audience we're going to create is people who added to cart and never checked out so audience name add to cart visitors of a page who did not visit another page so we want them to have visited the cart page so the URL for the cart page contains cart and we also want to exclude them from the checkout page because we only want people who abandoned um, cart and you can also do this um, for checkout as well so you could do abandoned um, checkouts how would you do that you would do abandoned checkouts and here we want them to have reached checkout but not the thank you page whoops we're actually just gonna keep this as abandoned checkouts so this is telling Google they reached checkout, but they never reached the thank you page. So that means they never finished checkout. They never bought. I'm going to go to 90 and go to create audience. So that's how you create audiences for your retargeting campaigns in Google. Now let's move on into setting up an actual campaign. So what you want to do is click this back button here and it's automatically going to take you to the campaign dashboard. So then go ahead and click this blue plus button here, go to new campaign, select display because Google retargeting campaigns are done on the display network of Google. So you're going to want to select display, make sure you select that, not anything else. Go to create a campaign without a goal. Make sure it says standard display campaign and then type in the URL for your Shopify store. Click continue. I typically name my retargeting campaign simply retargeting and then the store name. 
if your traffic is coming from all over the world, you want to set it to all countries and territories because that means the people in your audience that you created are going to be from all parts of the world. So you want to go with all countries and territories. Unless you have like a high ticket store and all your customers are in the US, that's when you will go with US. But even though you have it set to all countries and territories, you want to make sure that they are English speaking. So you're going to leave languages alone because English is always the default here. Um, bidding, you're going to go to clicks, maximize clicks, always start your CPC at a dollar, scroll down, your daily budget. You can start at 10, you can actually start it much higher if you would like because your store is already profitable if you're setting up a retargeting campaign. You shouldn't be setting up a retargeting campaign if you have less than a thousand visitors. Then after this, we're going to go to additional settings, you're going to leave ad rotation alone because you want Google to show the best performing ads. You want Google to self optimize for you. You're going to go to frequency capping. How many times do you want one person to see your ad? I always set this at three at a max of three per day. I don't want to show my ads to them four five, six times. Three is my maximum per day. You're going to leave location options alone. And then you're going to go down here to dynamic ads because you want people to see personalized ads. So you're going to turn this on. You're going to use your data feed. This is where Google Merchant Center comes into play. You're going to select your Google Merchant Center ID here. That's where your product feed is stored. You're not going to filter out any products here. So you're going to leave that alone and content exclusions. Do you want your ads to not appear on certain um, content? So this all depends on what you're selling. I always go with just park domains. I don't want my ads to be shown on park domains. Ad group. So for this retargeting campaign, we're targeting window shoppers. Window shoppers is going to be my ad group name. This is where you select your audience. You're going to go to how they have interacted with your business, remarketing and similar audiences. Website visitors, window shoppers, which is one of the audiences that we created uh, previously. Done. And you're going to scroll down and go to automated targeting. You're going to leave this part alone. So don't touch content targeting at all. Um, just go to automated targeting and turn this off. So no automated targeting. So what automated targeting is Google is going to go ahead and try to find people who are similar to your customers, but it's just going to kill your ad budget. If you want to find look like audiences, use Facebook. Um, you can also use Google. There's a different way to do it. I'll teach that later. But you're going to go to no automated targeting here. This is where you actually create your dynamic ad. So to create your actual ad, you're going to go ahead and select new ad and then go to responsive ad. There's multiple different display ad formats. Now, what's cool about dynamic ads is the customers, the potential customers in your audience are not going to see every single product in your store. They're only going to see the products that they interacted with products that they looked at products that they added to cart that's what makes dynamic ads so cool so to start off you're gonna go ahead and go to images this is where having a niche store is so important because all you need to do is find a picture that relates to all your products so for example let's say our store our demo store is a dog store if you have your own pictures you can obviously upload them here but let's say it was a dog store Can select this use this image boom continue save if you have your store logos you can upload them as well so look at this right and then you could do you can add urgency so you could do 15% off today only discount code save 15 whoops now this text that we're filling in is only for one or two of the actual ad formats the rest of them are completely dynamic it's gonna be filled in with your product name store name stuff like that so let's say this is for window shoppers right yeah so this is for window shoppers so we could do description products are moving fast don't miss out 
obviously this is just an example if i was actually creating an ad i'll come up with something much better um, business name we'll go ahead and put friend alley let's take a look at some of the previews here so 15 percent off today only products are moving fast don't miss out discount code save 15 and then we're going to go to more options and then call to action text going to want to change it to shop now and then go to more options go to dynamic ad options and your promotion text you're going to do discount do discount whoops discount code save 15. go back up take a look at the previews dynamic ones shop now discount code save 15 and then go ahead and add to ad group so you can create another ad type if you want so let's say you want to use a different image you can do all that in the new ad create campaign uh, ooh, I forgot. Google hates these this by changes to campaign and then continue to campaign and that is it you now have your retargeting campaign set up and on that note I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to check out my other videos if you're new to the channel. Be sure to like, comment, share, and most definitely subscribe. See you guys next time. Money don't make me, I'm the same, with or without it. Ain't got no limit, you know that I'm about it. Ethic energy, I can't be around it. Trying to get mama a house in the mountains. Talking my shit on these beats, I be clowning. When my girl don't get away, she be pouting. You know I fly like a falcon. I was broke, I ain't have a plug. Barely had nothing, I turned into something.